Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we will understand how to extract the data from Web of Science. So for this, we will go on the website of Web of Science, click on this search, and in search, go in the editions. So if you are working in the domain of social science, activate this this three, that is Science Citation Index, Social Science Citation Index. Emerging Sources Citation Index. Next. Your research topic can be specified here. We can also use the Boolean operators such as OR, AND and NOT. We can use asterisk such as Bibliometric asterisk or Science Map asterisk. Let's say we want to generate the results for sustainable food and organic. So what we will do, we will write the sustainable food with asterisk, activate the boolean operator and another topic is organic. This will ensure that the search results include the documents containing both the terms in the topic. Next is, once you run the search, Web of Science will display the total number of documents. If the number is too large or not relevant enough, we need to refine the search. This can be done from here, refining the results. Next, we can refine the results based on the web of science categories. Just tick mark the categories which are relevant for you and then click on refine. We can also refine our search based on years. We get two options, one to exclude and the second is refine. So if I tick mark here, 2022, exclude. So it will remove all the documents can, uh, published in the year 2022. The search can also be refined on the basis of document type, language. After refining the search, you get two tab. One is add to marked list. And the second is export. In the in history, so the history represents a classical prisma diagram. It shows the search steps we just performed. Now, what is the difference between add, add to mark list and export? Export allows you to immediately export the results of your search. Mark list is a sort of a shopping cart where we can save your metadata collection and we can continue to manipulate or export the results of your search in the future. So depending upon your requirement, you can use it. From here, we can specify the records. Now in export, the options available are plain text file, bib text file, Excel. So if your uh, objective is to carry out the further analysis, I will insist that you download these records in BibTeX or plain text file. So this was all about how to extract the data from Web of Science. For more videos on bibliometric analysis, please subscribe to my channel. You can also refer my playlist in which I uploaded many videos on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Please don't forget to like and share my videos. You can also join me on different social medias, link given in the description box.